Hey Cubs, I'm Shannon. And I'm Tate. And welcome to our LMS broadcast. Miss Wayne's Primetime is selling baked goods at the fest for the Festival of Giving. They will be selling homemade and store-bought goodies. Items can be also be bought in Miss Wayne's room for 50 cents. Miss McFarland's Primetime will be selling donuts before school in B Building at the Snack Den. You can buy two for one dollar Friday this week or Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. They will also be selling popcorn at 6th grade lunch for $1 uh, or in her room during passing time B16. Mark your agendas, Cubs. December 16th is hat day. Students can purchase a hat pass for $1 and all the money raised will go towards the Cubs cash store. Go big, go crazy, wear your coolest hat all for only one dollar. And now it's time for campus news. I'm Maria. Mrs. Mormon has been a paraeducator for 16 years. She offers extra help for kids that need it. Hey Cubs, I'm Jennifer here interviewing Miss Mormon. How many years have you been teaching? Well, I've been a paraeducator for a little over 20 years, and this is my 16th year here at O'Leary. What's your favorite thing about teaching? Oh, there's more than one, but um, I like to, with a student just and students, stand back and observe and get an understanding of how they learn and then move forward and help them succeed in that way. Do you like helping kids? I do. I, I work more closely with some students than others and um, with that I'm able to hear their stories and make a connection and... That's nice. Yeah. What do you like to do when you are at school? Um, I like to get the family together and make some good old-fashioned home-cooked meals. And I like working in the yard with my husband. And after a hard day's work, I always enjoy going home and relaxing on the couch. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Back to the studio. Thank you for all you do, Mrs. Mormon. And now for lunch, I'm Dawson. Today's lunch will be Manager's Choice Low-Fat Milk. And now it's time for Today in History. I'm Sam. The first modern instance of a meteorite striking a human being occurs at Siliquega, Alabama, when a meteorite crashes through the roof of a house into a living room, bounces off a radio, and strikes a woman on the hip. The victim, Miss Elizabeth Hodges, was sleeping on a couch at the time of the impact. The space rock was a sulfide meteorite weighing 8.5 pounds and measuring 7 inches in length. Miss Hodges was not permanently injured, but suffered a nasty bruise along her hip and leg. And now it's time for birthdays. I'm Harm. November 30th, Leah Peters and Lucia Moffat. I'm Brian out for its brain drain. What year did the band The Beatles break up? Was it A, 1972, B, 1970, C, 1969, or was it D, 1971? And the answer is B, 1970. Now for cycling, I'm Sage. How much trash does the average person generate every day? Is it A, 1 pound, B, 14 ounces, C, 12 pounds, or is it D, 4 pounds? And the answer is D, 4 pounds. And now for word power. I'm Brecken. What does the word boondoggle mean? Is it A, extravagant boasting, B, long or polysyllabic, C, work that is wasteful and pointless but gives value, or is it D, something exciting and outgoing? And the answer is C, work that is wasteful, pointless, but gi gives value. It's time for Where in the World Are We? I'm Hazel. This country is a transcontinental country in Eastern Europe. It is one of the largest countries in the world. The capital of this country happens to be Moscow, and it was founded on December 25, 1991. Is this country A, Asia, Asia, B, Europe, C, Russia, or is it D, Africa? 
And the answer is C, Russia. And now it's time for a quote. I'm Jacob. They always say time changes things, but you actually have to change them yourself. Andy Warhol. See you later, Cubs. I'm Tate. And I'm Shannon. And have a wonderful rest of your day.